hi guys welcome back to the channel or welcome if you're new here so we are back with another let's renovate in appaloosa plains today we are doing trotter cottage and um, this is built on 19 hang on 194 no it's not one yeah 19442 bobo link drive that is according to one of the wikipedia sites for the sims so if that's incorrect i do apologize also, if you can hear anything different in my voice, I think I'm coming down with my son's cold. So that's just grand. I have not stopped sneezing. Um, I've literally just finished this build and I wanted to voice it over now because I'm not sure when I'm going to get time to do that. And I'm trying to build up my, what's it called? Like my uploads. And so you've actually got stuff to watch from me because I've got lots going on at the moment and to try and find the time to actually build and then voice over can be very difficult so I had five minutes to do this so I will be going to bed after this so if I start yawning you know it's not plum bob voice over without um unprofessionalism <laughs> um, anyway I hope you're all doing really well guys it is currently a Tuesday an evening for me it's currently nine o'clock at night and yeah i need to go to bed after this because i've got to work tomorrow so that is fun i've actually had a couple of days off um which has been quite nice um i've had a couple of appointments to go to today um but that's all done for now um i had my midwife appointment that just checking my blood pressure and everything because i was quite poorly in my first one but yeah that's that um going back to the house anyway so this originally starts as a three bedroom two bathroom but i've turned it into a two bed one bathroom i know you might be thinking why are you doing that i thought you were keeping them all the same well just for this house it just was too big absolutely massive and i don't know about you guys but if i'm gonna have a one-story home it needs to be small i i don't know i just don't like playing in a house that's just one story and is absolutely massive takes your sim ages to get from one side of the house to the other so yeah this is what i've downsized it to it's still got the like entryway in the middle and um, the bedrooms and the bathroom to the right and then all the like living stuff on the left as you go in i do flick around quite a lot with this build so i do apologize if it makes you dizzy um i was doing that this morning and uh, my son was at nursery and i was just like i want to build i want to do something um i'm really loving the renovations again so don't worry you'll be getting a lot more from me um and i've also got some other videos in the works so yeah lots of content if you haven't already please do hit that subscribe button stick around and i'm sure you'll find something that you like well hopefully you do um, so in the garden here I was just going to leave it as this basically with some plants but I just I don't know I wanted to do something different and something I haven't done um, yet in this um, I don't think I have anyway probably I probably have ages ago but it's been way too long since I have done any renovating in Appaloosa Plains but I've actually built this little greenhouse outside but it's not a greenhouse because it does have some planter boxes in there but it also has the what's the thing that comes with um ambitions the thing that you can make like trash stuff from it's got one of those in there trash table things I don't actually know what the technical term is for that and um, you might be thinking why are you doing so much paving um, I actually put the swimming pool back in as you can see here that it did originally come with a swimming pool um, and I wasn't going to put one back originally but then I was like mm, I, I think it needs something so I put it back in and um, I do spend quite a lot of time on this build just putting details in that I wouldn't normally do um, I don't know I've just been loving building again so I hope you're enjoying these um, builds and yeah just builds with me or whatever um um what have you been up to guys have you been up to much at all um it's probably february when this is going up so how was your january um mine was 
just work and family life and yeah it's just life flies by doesn't it it's just blinking it's gone who knows where this year is going already although january does feel like it drags like it's got 92 weeks in it or something because you've got to try and get from payday to payday but yeah um so i actually start with the exterior of this house i know i don't normally and i don't know what made me feel like i needed to do the exterior before the interior but i did so there is the pool out here there's a couple of lounge chairs a nice dining table one that i don't normally use sorry that's kind of gross my nose is like running so i do apologize and then i put out the front here um just a little plant with some flowers and yeah just some what's it called a mat there we go mat is what i was looking for and then i just go around and add in some lights you'll see that i changed the um brightness to like morning and night and um, just so i could see where the lighting was and whether it was any good so i did that and then not sure not long after i did this bit sorry i actually stopped recording because i had to go pick my son up so this is everything that i did this evening i do believe um did i yeah i'm pretty sure this is all stuff that i've done this evening so hopefully it's still fresh in my mind but who knows because my brain is the size of a pea and i forget everything i don't know if anyone else is like that like you could tell me something and within 10 minutes i've forgotten what i was even what you'd even tell like spoke to me about i don't know if it's my age like i'm not even that old like i'm 27 guys <laughs> I don't know I feel like I'm just getting worse and I shouldn't be I don't know yeah who knows what's going on with my brain I think I've just got a lot going on and my brain is just constantly working so yeah this is the what's it called like outhouse shed thing out here um so you've got six planter um planter boxes I haven't used move up move object on for them so your sim should be able to get to them and hopefully your sims can get to the other thing as well i don't know what it's called one of those things you saw me place it um and then i just go through and i just place all the um floorings and i do the um, wallpaper coverings as well you'll also notice that i have popped in a fireplace there wasn't one in here originally um I didn't actually notice that there was one in there originally until I went and took uh, the screenshots right at the very end so I'm kind of kind of happy that I put one in again so I'm not taking away too much from the original obviously it has changed a heck of a lot um, from the original um, not so much the exterior but the interior layout um, the kitchen was on the right as you came in and now it is on the left as you come in um, I hope you guys don't mind me changing it too much um, obviously I'm going to do it to what I like and what I want if that makes sense because I'm the one renovating it so if you have a problem with that I'm really sorry um, but yeah if you want to renovate it yourself feel free i've got my discord linked below and if you do try and renovate any of these houses please do show me in the discord because i do like seeing what you guys have been building or been doing in your games yeah it just gives me a bit of inspiration if i'm honest i'm often talking to a f often talking to a few of you in there so i really appreciate all your support and feedback on any of these videos um even if you're not a like not a commenter just you watch until the very end and just you like in the video is more than enough for me so i just want to say thank you um i have just recently hit 900 900 subscribers when i've um recording this and that's just incredible so thank you from the bottom of my heart it really does mean a lot to me because i know i haven't been as consistent as some people over here on youtube like they're every single day they've got an upload that's i'd love to be able to do that i really would but i just don't have the time i work full time i've got my son i've literally just finished uni again and yeah i've just got a lot going on and yeah going back to that i've just finished uni guys again like i've already got my degree but i have just finished my last um what's it called like assignment 
that I had to do for my course and yeah I finished it I hope I have passed <laughs> if anything because that last assignment was rather difficult but it was only it's like 30 percent of your marks I did have a viva voce which is where you have to talk your answers um, and that was 70 percent and I did pass that just I scraped my marks but I did pass it so hopefully the next one even if I scrape my marks again I should pass um so yeah fingers crossed keep your fingers crossed for me guys I really do need to just pass this because I will be going on maternity leave um come May so I would like to have that all done by then um and just sort of on the back burner and then work can become the last priority um so yeah going back to the house anyway because i went on a right tangent there i uh, the main theme or color theme of this house is this very light green i really like the color i don't know if you'd class that as an olive green because it is quite light i don't know let me know let me know what you think excuse me got a bit of a hiccup there uh, i'm trying not to like breathe in too hard because then it might sound gross because my nose won't stop running i really think my son has given me his cold so that's so nice of him to um spread the love of his germs <laughs> he's been so cuddly bless him but yeah anyway going back to the house this is the now living area as you can see it's very open plan the uh, there is a little seating area i would say seating area wouldn't i a little desk um, behind the sofa and yeah it's just over to the right as you're looking at the screen now at the bottom yeah it's going to be a little desk there with a computer computer I don't know why I said it that way but I did and yeah I was going to put it in the bedrooms originally like in my head I was like I'll go put it over there but then I had this little bit of space and I was like if I put it over there then or everyone can use it and it won't wake anyone up so yeah i did that and i think it suited the room quite nicely um feel free to move it if you don't like it there so yeah this is where i put it and i use the chair i want to say that comes with generations but i could be completely wrong um i'm rubbish with my packs guys i don't know if you're any better than me but yeah i recently did a poll um on how much custom content you guys have so i did write in one of my replies one of my replies that i have 32 gigabytes i don't use this in my game all the time don't worry guys <laughs> i'm not gonna break my game but i tried to load um so basically i have separate saves for what i do so my appaloosa planes and any of my let's renovates i use one of my folders of the sims 3 and that has nothing but um a few nras mods that i need to make the run the game run smoother like um the debugger and yeah anyway s some of those ones and then i have my leprosy which has a couple of um like cas um creator style cc things you know what i mean and hairs and then uh, I have another one that has just interior stuff um so yeah i don't even know where i was going with that um yeah but so someone came back and was um said that i can't remember someone was talking about how to make it so you have like less cc but you have the same amount of cc uh, it went way above my head so thank you for replying i really do appreciate it but i think that was a bit too technical for my for my little brain to go through but anyway going back to the build again this is going to be a i want to say children's room like it's quite um feminine in here lots of purple lots of pink um so yeah I make it as a twin room because in the original house there was a twin room and obviously there was an extra room on top of that but one of them was a twin room so I thought why don't I make this one into 
um, a children's room so I've done that I do originally make this chair white and yellow and I do go back and change that to a like a lilac and pink sorry I had to really swallow then I'm uh, yeah I can't remember what I was gonna say because my brain's a sieve as I always say so I do actually put a rodent cage in here and I don't normally do that I just we're in we're in Appaloosa Plains it's the pets expansion pack of course we need to put some more animals in here so I'm going to try and make a conscious effort to actually put in more of those um like those tanks so you've got the rodent you've got the reptile I think there's a snake one as well um and yeah I want to try and put those in a bit more I did go back to I think it's the parrot household and I did add in a few more parrots because they had quite a few when I originally did it and then when I made it over then I took them all out so I have gone back and put a couple in um, I would like to go back to some of the other houses that I've already done and put them in there as well but um, yeah who knows let me know what you think of this house anyway guys because we are about to do the last room um if you are still listening at this point thank you for listening to my ramble um feel free to write i don't know what should we write at the very end here i don't know think of something i don't know put, put um i can't even think right now bananas put bananas in the comments um if you've got this far um so yeah i'm gonna love you and leave you here guys because i'm just rambling now and i've got nothing else to say we're right at the very end i've got the screenshots um all lined up for you and yeah thank you for sticking around and listening to me and just being amazing so thank you i'm gonna love you and leave you and i'll see you in the next one bye guys mm -hmm.